as we settle down to create today. One may wonder, who is the ultimate artist? I'm sure I'm not the only one who has ever gazed at the sky and marveled at its beauty, its vastness, an array of form and color. How does it do it? How does it combine these shapes and colors that please our aesthetic senses, especially our sight? Is there an answer? Who has the answer? Well, Psalm 19, let's read. The heavens declare the glory of God. The sky proclaims the work of His hands. Day after day, they pour for speech. And night after night, they display knowledge. David the psalmist states the heavens declare the glory and the sky proclaims the work of God. God. Pause to think about this. The sky is the work of God's hands. All the combinations of colors and shapes that inspire us, touch us, speak to us, are created by God. Talk about knowing how to mix colors and make a statement. And so, do we find our answer in knowing or asking who is the ultimate artist? We do. The ultimate artist is God himself. He is the ultimate artist of everything visible and invisible. And that is quite amazing. It's hard to understand at times, but if we open our hearts to see the Lord in His creation and what He has made and the work of His hands, 
he speaks quite loudly and he makes quite a statement because he is the ultimate artist. That's amazing. God is showing me his work. He's inspiring me to also copy him. We all have a chance to copy him. All that he's made is all around us. We just have a simple task to stop and notice and to praise him and to copy him. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament shows his handiwork. Psalm 19, 1, a Psalm of David. As I gaze at the sky, my heart rejoices in the work of his hands. It inspires me to copy him. May you be inspired as well. Thank you.